Hello, Aku here again. Welcome to episode 56 of my Ultimate Feed the Beast Let's Play. I'm up on the roof. I've got the frame contraption up in the air there. Uh, I've been playing around a little bit with the control. I've not actually set anything up more yet. I just wanted to show you what I've done here. Um, basically, I've got a little test set up here. I've got a set up here that I can just press a button and it'll do one thing. Either up or down or that's north, south, west and east. And I've also got this little setup here that allows me to set things up. I can only do one at a time in a minute. But, um, set things up so that with my little remote control here, all I've got to do is the remote control set to 7, which is just a test frequency. Um, just clicking the remote control will toggle the timer on, which uh, just keeps the thing going in whatever direction I set it. So that's the idea at the minute. To do that. The only problem it does sometimes have is I've got to make sure that the motor in question is, is returned to its initial state, another one that moves. So if I turn that off too quick, then for example, that if I, if I was going west, if I turn it off too quick, then the that motor there would be on its move to block rather than its reset block. Uh, so I don't know how to get around that bit. Uh, I put some totems up here. I've not made a crystal core yet. I'm going to go and make that in a minute. Uh, I'm going to make that on camera. And hopefully the crystal core, it sits in this block here in between these two frames. So hopefully these frames will hold it in position. So that should work. And then I seem to get make a platform up here to put the control on. So this control, this seems to work. So I'm going to duplicate this six, well, five more times and put this down in the basement. Uh, I can use them. So I need some receivers, some toggle switches, some knock gates, some timers, that's what's going on here. So yeah, that's a toggle switch, that's a knock gate, that's a timer. So basically the knock gate keeps the timer turned off and then when the toggle switch is toggled it turns the knock gate off which sets the timer spin. The timer is set to 0.4 of a second and that keeps pulsing the um, transmitter that's wired to these receivers. Make sense? I hope so. And some of you may notice on the front there I've got a little thing that I've just been playing with, see how it looks. And for this I have to send it up a little bit higher there. I say that's the front, uh, I don't know what the front or the back is. Really because we're planning on going that direction I should have made it long ways that way instead I think. Instead of this way but what I've done just on the front there just for shits and giggles. Put a wind turbine on there. Hey, so it's got an engine. <laughs> so now it's an actual wind powered machine. That's kind of cool. Um, it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I forgot how big they were. Them ones are actually quite a bit smaller. Yeah, these guys are pretty big. So it's looking alright, I think. It's uh, not the smallest one I've seen. But as long as that motor in there, the uh, that battery box I mean, the one underneath that solar panel, no sorry I'm lying, the motor, what am I talking about, oh see there's that condition I mentioned anyway look, that motor there when I was going up, that motor there still in its up position and reset, so I'd have to let's click that one more time and it should reset. And it hasn't. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, five's up, isn't it? Yeah. Why are you know? Why are you know? Up? So that seems to be stuck. Why are you stuck? Yeah. It's possibly stuck because that motor in question is out of power, but I can't see that being the case just yet. Really should have maybe not covered this up quite so much. But that's the problem there. The problem is that that guy is up in the air. Where if I turn that signal on, so it's pulsing it, but it's not going back down. So I bet this is the issue. Because nothing's actually touching that. Let's uh Oh that is the issue, okay. Hmm. So in that case I think that I can actually have that on there. Which is unfortunate. I'm sure I've seen these with stuff like that on though. I think I've seen one one of them on it. 
Mm, that's unfortunate. So they're still stuck in the wrong position. There we go. Now it's level again. That's the kind of thing that I meant about. It's a little bit. It's a little bit not as good as it could be, and that's because I've just got not much, not much experience with doing this kind of thing. So I'm sure I could make that better. Right, I'm gonna have to go and get a drink. I think I've got <coughs> a bit of a tickly throat. Right, I'm gonna go into my Farmcraft world and as quickly as possible because I don't want to spend all episode doing this. Um, still got high flux, which is a bit weird. So I've got a pure queen in there, but that's really gone down all day. Not sure what that's about. Right, I'm gonna need for each of these. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm back in a sec. Let's go get a drink. And I'm back, and I've put the shards in there. I've not put the essences in yet, though. So I'm going to throw them from a little magic mirror there. If I got something not standing on there, so I want eight eggs in there, and I want two ender pearls. And I've got some precantatio and vitreous in Val, so I'm going to throw them in. That should give us the right amount for four of these guys. There we go. Send the little boys into action. And uh, now we need another star, which I should have really got first. But let's go get us a nether star. Uh, I don't think I've got any pre-killed pre nethers with us. Uh, it would be in there if I had one, I think. And I haven't. You may notice I've gone back to the Sfax textures. I'm going to at least finish this season off using the Sfax. I wanted to try the Faithful. I'm starting to, I do like the Faithful quite a lot. I also like the Sfax quite a lot, which is unfortunate. Um, I think it may slow me down a little bit, but see, I've only got 24, 29, 24 FPS over here. I think I get about an extra 10, 15 when I'm recording with the Faithful. So I may switch to the Faithful. I don't know, I like both. Um, I don't like both. It's it's a bit hard to decide, really. I think the Faithful, I do get a slightly better performance. So, in theory, I should really use that, but, you know. Especially for recording, because I want it to look as good as it can do for you guys, really. Um, right, let's just get four of these. Let's kill these real quick. I should have... Oops. Three of them. I should have actually done this off camera, really. Just You've seen me do this enough times. So that seeing me do it again is probably a little bit boring. Um, if you did, if you downloaded the world yesterday, I it was episode fifty-five yesterday. So well, today as I'm recording this, but um, if you downloaded the world, I put some some fresh holy hand grenades in there. So you should have a go at this um, because the holy hand grenades got lost when uh, I had to revert the world. The ones that I made the other day got lost. <laughs> ridiculous. It is a bit ridiculous, I must admit, that the wither dies so easy using the man grenades. They are pretty cool and they're quite expensive to make. I mean, meh, well, they're not particularly expensive. Oh, speaking of that, I meant something else there. I meant to mention it. I forgot all about it. Um, look at this guy. It's called a Sojourner's Staff. Consumes torches, can be used to place in long distance, but costs extra. So what that's got is it's durability bar there. It's got eight stacks of torches in it. So if I want to place a torch, I'll just put a torch down. But I can place torches right over there. But that uses more than one torch to place it right over there. Uh, the further away, it goes up to eight torches. So you can, I don't know how far away you can place them. Oh yeah, look at that. Real far. So, uh, yeah, you, but placing them at a distance like that does cost more torches. But... It's pretty cool that like, you can place them that far, crazy, I didn't think it'd be that far. So uh, I'll just show you the recipe of that real quick. It's called a Sojourner Staff, it's part of Xeno's Reliquary, same as the Holy Hand Grenades. A couple of Magma Creams, some gold, blaze rod, and two glowing water, so quite cheap. Um, the only thing that really holds you back making that early game is the glowing water needs nether wart. It needs glowstone. The condensed flesh serum needs nether wart, so you'd have to go into the nether. Because that's obviously the only place you can get nether wart from to start off with. You can grow it in the other world, but you have to go to 
a fortress to actually get the first bit. But uh, yeah, pretty cheap and it's quite cool. Like eight stacks of torches in there, so you're not going to run out for a while. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Um, right. Back to here. Now, I'm not really sh sure which aspects we need for this. So let's have a look. Eight magic. Eight mutatio. Eight alienis. Eight vacuos. Right, that's okay. easy enough. So, we've got any chests in there? We have so two chests. Enderpearl. Two enderpearls gets us the uh, alienis and the frequentatio. What else was it? A, A, A. And two mutatio. So, I should have some of that in here. Mutatio. One of them. Excellent. Easy enough. Bring all them in there. And that. There we go, one crystal core. Hooray! Now, um, should be a little bit left of a green stuff in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that with my wand so I don't forget. So shift right click that and I'll put that into the atmosphere. But we don't really care. And, okay, let's go back and see if this moves on the frame rig. Um, wrong way. I put the doors back up before I put the weld for download as well. I don't know if I did that. I think I did that after yesterday's episode. Huh, I thought I'd gone then. I thought I'd lost the damn thing. Um, I should bring that back right down, shall we? All right. Oh, that's there. Uh, that's not good. That means it must have run out of battery, maybe. Otherwise, it shouldn't have stopped. Hmm. So down. And this probably won't come down because it's coming down. Why wasn't it going up then? I think that, yeah, I've got an inkling that that motor, the one that I think is not getting any power, has run out. Which means my design's flawed. I need to move all this full section of one, I think. Which is a bit of a shitter. Hopefully, with um, an update to Red Power at some point, there'll be... Now, will you sit in there or what? Probably shouldn't do this while it's moving, to be honest. But let's bring it right down to the earth. Come on, I'll this last thing. Um, hopefully, at some point, There'll be an update to these frames that add blue. No, you, you can get the. I've got, actually got one there. I've got a redstone tube frame. I want to see if it'd carry the current better in that block there, but it didn't. Um, well, it could do, but I'd have to put some jacket wire either side. So it ended up taking up more space than what I was actually using. Are we down? Have we landed? Yay! We've landed. Okay. Let's see if this guy sits where he should so that sits there I think that's the right place um, I'd have to hit it with a wand but that would actually activate and start pulling a node to it and I don't actually want to do that yet unless do I want that node, there's a node over there somewhere I suppose I could pull it up here, it's no big deal let's uh, first of all let's see if this thing moves with that on it that's, that sounds like a good idea doesn't it let's, let's move it up And of course, it's not going to do that if that battery's dead like I think it is. Hmm. Is that the issue, do we think? Well, it's a bit of a bastard if it is the issue. Uh, oh, six is down anyway. Five's up. Five does not want to go up. Let's just change that so we can actually see up here using the remote. Make sure that's triggering correctly. So it's trying to pulse that engine there, yet that motor, and nothing's happening. So I think that motor's dead. So I'm going to cut camera in a minute. We can test this if it'll work by going west or east, so or north or south. So there we go, and it took the crystal car with it. So that's good. 
and that started its animation as if it's uh, as if I've triggered it but I don't know what I am <laughs> but I see its animation in there I think maybe it's just did that because it moved right what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do that I'm going to bring that node that's down there up here see if this works where it is no doesn't seem to I should suggest I put it in the wrong place it might mean it needs to be one higher or I might mean that there needs to be a gap between these the problem is if I break it uh, it falls to bits I have to remake it again so have I put it in the wrong place that's the question I think I made on She's a bit of a bastard. Right, back in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and I did it in the wrong place. And the way I've sorted it is, I've dug a little hole in the floor, and I brought it down one more. So the struts, as we call them, are actually one lower. They're buried at the minute, and this should be pulling a node from somewhere. If it's uh, capable of pulling a node far enough. Now, nothing guaranteeing that it is capable of pulling it from that far. I don't quite remember how far it is. I think it might be 20 blocks. I think this might be a further than 20 blocks away from the nearest node. Which could be an issue. So I took some of the frames off just to sort this out and get it in the right place. This is actually the second crystal core. I actually made it, um, I remade it once and uh, place it exactly the same bastard place so I thought I'd remake it again uh, it's interesting to note though when you do break one of these you get some dull shards you get the same amount of shards back but some of the coloured shards you put in there don't come back coloured will that stop moving Does that is this working or is this not working I cannot tell it made the noise when I clicked it the first time now will these interfere with it these frames Normally when it's working, it kind of floats up and down. That doesn't seem to be moving to me. Let's uh, leave these out for now. See, so look, it lets me click on that when the frame's out there. And it started moving again. When I put the frames, it looks like it stopped it. Nice graphic. It looks awesome, that. Uh, or possibly it just stopped itself because it's out of range. That's probably more like it actually. So I may have to put frames in and out in between moving it. So I can't actually move it well. Hmm. Right, I'm going to sleep just so nothing blows me up. Because there's been a few creepers out there. We don't want creepers blowing us up. We want their logic and stuff. It'll really upset me that now we can't move the contraption up because of this charging issue so all right let me just try that one more time then let me try that with frames in and of course because that's one block are you if we, get, if we want this to work while it's moving we need at least one frame up there and i just don't think this is going to work so it's not making the clicking noise, the uh, it's not making the striking noise, the magic noise. So let's just a test. Oh, I need to crack the crystal. Didn't mean to do that. Get off me. Let me up. So if this works now, and it did. So it's looking like that doesn't actually work when there's frames there, which is really unfortunate. Um unless just these gaps have to be empty in which case we could in theory again it only needs one it might only need one side of this door and this is just more for um, symmetry than anything else we could I suppose in theory go like that possibly I'll try that again in a sec when that's uh, calmed itself down again um, look, I've taken. I've just wiped all the aura out of here, and I 
this is six is it 250 each go so ah uh, that's an issue so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to try again well I can because it's in the one but I'm not doing the uh, any favors to the actual area here right that ain't working let's put that up that still ain't working let's uh let's I'll take these off one by one until we get to the point where it works i'm thinking it's not looking good so let's see if i'll take them off for well, now right so that's it so it can't have anything in its face <laughs> uh, one more thing we can try i guess is not have that actually touching just having it come up coming over that I don't think that'll work to be honest let's try it oh it does right so it's bent the noise and it's trying to work so that should move it's ugly but that should work and um, we'd need frames to touch all these top four here so at the minimum we need so I can make this look like part of the structure I suppose at the minimum we'd need that it's the very minimum we'd need here yeah. uh, I suppose I can cage all this in make it look kind of nice maybe use some purple wool or something well, okay that helps right I'm going to let the V recover uh, I'm going to go into my quarry world just let that V recover in there because uh, there's plenty of V here. That's why the R is always high here, by the way. When I've got, when I've used a lot of stuff at my wand, I generally come back here and just let it fill up over this node. Right, I'm going to cut the camera and I'm going to move the front end of the frame contraption so we can get some power to that motor that's getting starved of power. And I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. I just slept and down here, I've just set this up. So. I'm sure I can revise this at some point, make it a bit tidier, but that's the pretty ugly setup I've got at the minute. I've got a wireless transmitter for frequency for direction down, and I've got a matching frequency for button down. So that'll be the button that I'm going to be setting these to. So at the minute, um, I'm not going to put any control for actually directing it on the platform I'm just going to use this remote so um, 7 through 12 is what I'm going to turn the directions on with so I'll be going up first for example so we'll set that to up so a button up button up would turn that on if we go outside the contraption should be going upwards and it is excellent so let's go have a look out here. So what I've done out here is I've see that's that issue again there. Look, the uh, the motor went reset. That should be not there, the down one. Um so I'll just change that to down. And that's in its reset position. Okay, things still move okay though, so that ain't too bad. That's actually alright actually, as long as it still moves alright. So I moved this out one like I said I was going to do. And with an extra bit of blue jacketed wire, these engines are both getting charged now. Um, I really don't know why they don't share power between them. As, as my understanding, all blue electricity stuff did, but it clearly doesn't. This is a bit messy, I've not put any covers or anything on it, but I'm going to start sending it towards the temple over there and it's a long way it's uh, I, won't, I won't lie it's a long way uh, was it dungeon was it dungeon that we wanted it on if it is it's over a thousand meters away oh there it is yeah it's over a thousand meters away so let's start sending this guy east and I'm going to cut the camera I'm going to follow it put on east and uh, I'll see you in about an hour when it's there. See you in a bit. 
Hello there, we're back. Well, I'm back. Uh, it's the next day from when you last saw me. Uh, it may sound a bit of a mess because my sister turned up this morning and made me go for a run with it. And I had gone for a run for a long time. So I'm in a bit of a <coughs> state. I've got a bit of lung burn. Um, I started this up yesterday and for some reason I have to press K to get my jetpack working when I log on. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I started this going to the east and unfortunately when got to here this engine had run out of power so I've obviously not got enough power so I put these on which are attached to frames correctly I think yet yeah, now the damn thing won't work so because I'm a bit of a noob with this frame stuff so that, that's trying to work and um, I think it's stuck to that thing so now we've got power to that again we can turn that off we can do this and hopefully that should work again now but I've picked everything up, two batteries yet, yeah, two solar panels, let's try and out. So no, that's stuck, so whatever I've done has cocked something up. Um, <clears throat> someone in the comments recommended that I look at a mod, uh, sorry, a mod, a post on the forum with a 4x4x4 motor, motor, frame motor, and it looks very good, I'm actually thinking of making that instead. So. I don't think I'm going to do it on camera because it's going to take too long. I'm going to try and work that out. This isn't working because I don't know enough yet about this. I'm going to learn though. Um, see, that motor's stuck up there. That should be there. Uh, that one looks alright, I think. No, no, that one should be down as well. So, all my motors are getting a bit messed up. Something is... Oh, this seems to have slid across. Moved across one, so I don't know what's going on there either. So, it's not quite working, unfortunately. Um, I've got an idea though, I'm going to do a 4x4x4 square one and see how he's powered that, I'm not sure, I've looked at the pictures, there's no video of that, so I'm going to make that and I'm actually going to make a separate video of that so I can put put it on the guy's thread so people can actually see a video of his uh, of his creation, because there's, there's still pictures of it that kind of show to make it, but I think a video might be useful. Um, and I've got an idea, I've got an idea, what I'm going to think, what I'm thinking of doing, I was, I was going to keep it a secret, but I'm thinking of doing is I can put the crystal section below the motor and because it's square I can kind of build up the frame and make it like a hot air balloon possibly and then it doesn't matter which direction it goes in because it's a hot air balloon and they don't have it so if I make it symmetrically if I make it round it might look pretty cool but it's going to take me a long time unfortunately so uh, I'm going to do that off camera I'm going to finish this episode pretty soon I, I kind of got stuck with this last night so I thought I'm going to sleep on it try and get some ideas Unfortunately, that means that this is today's episode and I've not started uploading it yet. So, to get this up for 12 GMT, it's currently um, 7.30 GMT in the morning. So, I'm, <laughs> I've been out for a run already this morning, it's killing me. Um, so, to get this uploaded, to take this saved and get it uploaded, it's going to take me a good few hours as it is. So, um, it might be a little bit late going up. It should, I've got like five hours, it should be, that should be far right. A couple of other things I want to say. There's, there's not a lot else to do in the world, I don't think. As you can see from the news on the Feed the Beast launcher, there's a 1.5 version of the Ultimate Pack, a beta version of the Ultimate Pack, coming out next Monday or possibly the Monday after. So, hopefully I can get in touch with the guys that are playing the main server with. We've all kind of stopped playing on the main server a little bit as we're in a little bit of limbo waiting for this 1.5. Um, hopefully I can get in touch with them and we can get the server reset. And... Um, I'll be starting season one of the Let's Play on the beta 1.5 version of the survey. It's, it's, it sounds like it's going to have most of the mods, some new stuff like Tinker's Constructs, new version of Man Factory, um, obviously updated version of Applied Logistics, stuff like that. It's not going to have red power, but it might be added later once Elleram's got a working version of it. And the recommend is for a new world, to restart your world, so we're going to do that anyway. And... Slowpoke thinks that it's going to be compatible with 1.6 version when that comes, so we should have to start the world again. So hopefully we'll be able to start that next week, and I'll be starting a fresh series on um, with all new mods. So I, I think it's at this point I don't think starting up um, a Greg Tech mass um, what's it called fusion reactor is probably going to be worth it. But depends if over the next few days if I run out of stuff to do, I'll, I, I might just update that anyway and just throw one together because I think I've got the materials. 
I'm just to get most of it done. Let's see how much chrome I've got. See, I know how much. No, I've only got 30 chrome ingots. Um, I know how much the old one took. The old one took about 200 chrome ingots. The new one, I've got no idea actually how um how you create it. It's well, I've I've seen a video of it and it's a lot more. There's a lot more extra blocks. It's a really big structure. The other one was 24 of these fusion coils. Let's have a look at that fusion. Oops, fusion. 24 fusion coils and them, them things in a pattern around the reactor. That was quite straightforward. The new one, it's bigger. It's there's there's liquid plasma involved as all kind of stuff. So I'm not sure how, how many how much materials resources I'm going to need to make that. I think I'll be all right as long as I start processing some of this stuff into um, chrome and stuff because that's basically the the um, the thing that holds you back making it on the, on the version I've got is beryllium, which you get from enderpearls processing, uh, chrome, which you get from either rubies or redstone. Redstone contains ruby dust, and titanium. We've got we've got a thousand titanium, so we're alright with that. Um, everything else, uh, there's quite a lot of copper use as well. I think for some of the the neutron reflectors, I'm pretty sure there still needs these guys, iridium neutron reflectors, which uh, is quite convoluted build path but because mm, I get that little tin in dust form interesting um yeah I think we're pretty good to make all that so if I run out of stuff to do in the next couple of days before that pack comes out I might do that um as it is I don't really think starting anything new is really worth doing because this this world is almost doomed so while I've got red power in I want to try and get this frame thing done which unfortunately means that my episode might be a little bit boring for the next couple of days so I apologize for that so anyway I'm gonna call this episode there I'm gonna rip that thing to bits I'm gonna work out how to make this guy's 4x4x4 because it's clearly better than my version and see how he powers it I may have to do the uh, power thing with um ender chest now if you remember when I first set this up I used two retrievers and I had about 30 cell uh, 30 batteries in the system so I could keep using batteries I kind of set that up thinking I might one day make a frame quarry and I wanted to use that as a power source but I changed it to this much neater system but unfortunately this much neater system can only handle one one um, battery in the system otherwise it overflows at the well it would overflow at both ends if there was more than one empty it try and send more than one empty into here so that this pipe would overflow I could do it with red pipe wire and get conditions on both of these guys but the way the you know, target gates work at the minute the spit things out really quick and um, so you'd probably end up with more than one battery in the in the pipe especially if this was say if this was full of batteries then at the lava pump end at the nether end would it just keep trying to send whenever let me show you real quick whenever this guy got rid of its battery which is close to doing by the look of it yeah whenever this guy got rid of its battery then this condition this would be empty which would set the condition for it to send a new battery if there was more than one battery in the system It'd send um, possibly three or four batteries by the time the first one reached there, so all the rest would go on the floor. So that's why there's only one battery in there. If I go back to the system with the retrievers, I could have like a chest full of batteries there, and we could use that for the powering of the frame motor thing because we could have it just getting fed from an ender chest. So I may have to go back to that as well, which a little bit of off-camera work so yeah for now i'm going to call this episode um as always thank you very much for watching i hope it was entertaining i hope um it's not so much of a issue that my little ad area is quite tragically flawed um we've got the basic gist we know we can move a crystal car at least and i think this new version this idea that i've got if i can make it work should work pretty well i think should work pretty well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope you join me next time. Cheers. Bye.